In this video, we're going to be using Viking Soaps Old Norse and the Alpha Claymore Evolution Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I think we have a great one for you today. But before we get into the content today, a quick word about our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you in part by our good friends at Leaf and you know me. I love to use the Thorn Razor by Leaf and I also love using the original Leaf Razor. If you're going to be shopping at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB and get 5% off. You may as well save some money if you're going to be shopping at Leaf. Leaf, care for the places you care about. Back to the video. And all right, we are back and let's get into the shape. So the soap for today is Viking Soaps and this is Old Norse. This has a modern barbershop type scent. I'm going to put the notes for you right there on the screen. I really like this one. Nice, uh, fresh, kind of reminds you of Shannon's Barbershop or something something along those lines. Uh, medium scent strength. There is the look at the soap. It is uh, fairly firm, which I like. And uh, Viking soaps, they don't get as much praise as they should. They are quite good and affordable. The cost on this was $14 for five ounces or an exceptional $2.80 on a cost chart, which was very good. This is a tallow based soap. I'll put the ingredients for you right there. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm looking forward to using this soap today. It should be awesome. And also I want to mention it made a great lather easily. We'll put up a lather shot right there for you. No problem working with this. Not too soft, not too goopy, just really nice lather. It came easily and the scent is great. Okay. The star of the show today, however, is the Alpha Shaving. And this is the Claymore Evolution. Now, Executive Shaving also has the same razor. They probably call it something else, Executive Shaving in, in the UK. Uh, but Alpha makes the razor for both. And as you can see there, this is a single edge razor, which takes an Artist Club style blade. You see their logo in the end right there. Handsome razor. And I was really impressed when I did the unboxing for this razor. And I'll pop that up if you haven't seen it. The presentation on this and packaging was very good and it came um, for a good price for a premium razor of $144. That's a lot of money, but for premium these days where razors are north of 300, not bad. So I'll show you quickly, if you missed the unboxing, the way it came. It came in a box like this, but it came in a wooden, and I this looks like bamboo to me. It had Alpha's logo in the end and there was a little pouch, which also says Alpha on it. And that wasn't all. It also came with a tube, which includes blades. And this tube basic is for uh, travel. Um, it's a travel tube <laughs> for uh, brushes, but it came with 20 feather professional blades, which they recommend you use. And it also came with a stand for $144 stainless steel razor. Um, Alpha really did it right. And they set the tone via their packaging for a good experience. Now some razors are sometimes north of $300 and they come in a cardboard thing that looks like a toilet paper. You know, this the, the piece of cardboard a toilet paper roll comes on. Looking at you right now, Carbon. Come on, Carbon. I love Carbon, but that packaging is terrible. This is good packaging. So people like Carbon and other premium razor makers who don't have a decent package around your product, look, look to Alpha. They're showing you how it's done with that wood, they're not using plastic. I know that's important to carbon. I respect it, but there's other ways to set the tone for a great experience. And I do love carbon, but there's just no getting around the fact that the packaging they send razors in is just terrible. All right. So a lot of people want to compare any single edge razor to the vector. And for me, it's an unfair comparison because the vector is in a class of its own. I mean, just look how slim that head is compared to every, it's so slim and nimble. It feels different than any other SE razor. So we're gonna just use the uh, Alpha Claymore Evolution and just see how it shaves. Trying not to think about the vector because that's not a fair comparison. This is much more heavy. Although the head on that isn't super chunky. It is a little tall from top to bottom, but you know, uh, width wise here, it's not, or tall, I should say. It's not super tall there. So it's a good looking razor. The fit and finish is good. And we look forward to a good experience with it today, or I hope it shaves as good as uh, the packaging was. <laughs> let's put it that way, because they really did a great job. All right, let's get into it. Too much yapping there. All right, uh, also I want to remind you, I saw this on John Shaves 101 channel. Tomorrow, Saturday, 
is Turn It Blue Day. And I didn't know about this because I haven't talked to Kim Gray late, lately, but Kim Gray suffers from cancer. It is mesothelioma. I hope I said that right. It's kind of a rare cancer. And on Saturday, we're going to be using blue to sort of bring awareness to that particular disease. So Saturday, get out your blue gear, do your blue shaves, your blue shave of the days, and I will be doing that as well. And there is a look at the lather. I don't know if you can see the sheen on it. This has been sitting for a while, but it's going to be good stuff. We have trust in our lathering ability. <laughs> and by the way, people I ask all the time based on the pictures I've been posting on Instagram, how to get your lather that way? I've got another lather tutorial already shot. It will be coming up. And so I'll show you again. And I want to remind you folks, look at the information below. There's so much information that I put in these videos every day. I'm doing it for you. I'm not doing it for myself. There's lather tutorials down there. There's playlists. Also at the end of the video, there's usually little thumbnails you can click on. So please take advantage of that, especially if you're new. I have a lot of content for you and I'm happy to, uh, happy to help as much as I can, but please, you know, look below the video for all those links to all these products. Now this Claymore Evolution from Alpha is sold out right now. I got it on pre-order. I'm very happy with the, 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 uh, packaging and the razor as it came. Like I said, um, I think some razor makers and some people who produce premium stuff get this and some don't. Setting the tone for a good experience is very important. And some people get it and some people don't. Alpha clearly gets it, or at least they have with this razor. Now, let's get into the shave. That's the most important thing. And I know some people don't care about packaging at all. That feels nice. Nice, I'm definitely getting some blade feel. I'm not getting too much blade feel. That's feeling good. To me, it's coming across as maybe somewhere close to medium. Um, I'll put the specs that they had available up there in the corner. I don't think they published the blade gap on this, or at least I didn't see it if they did. If you happen to know, you know, please comment below. And also comment below, let me know what you're using today in your shade, would love, love to know. That feels pretty good. I would say definitely not threatening. Um, feels nice and smooth. Smooth would be the way I would characterize this. I don't know if you can see the the whiskers there. It's kind of hard to, to get in there, but it's definitely cutting well. It's feeling nice and smooth, not menacing at all. I'm thinking, just based on the first few strokes, that this is feeling um, Close to the medium range, might maybe slightly under. Now, I do want to caveat that I tend to prefer a lot of blade feel, so my my aggression meter might be broken. Um, this razor might feel really efficient to you. To me, it's feeling right around the medium, I'm calling it, for me. And it feels good, nice and smooth. This razor does feel substantial in your hand. It's on the heavy side, it has a long handle. I don't mind it because they tapered it down and I like the way they've been tapering some of these longer handles to sort of, if you're gonna have a longer handle, I do think you need to taper it and take some of that bulk away from it. And as you can see there, it's rinsing very nice and clean. So our Viking soap is, is well lathered. That feels good. Soap's plenty slick enough. Viking has a soaps at an excellent price. They don't always have a bunch in stock because you know he makes brushes and other things too. But check them out when they're in stock. They're worth trying if you haven't tried them. I would love to see him making more and having more in stock. Maybe, um, I'm not sure if he has his soaps in any of the, the vendors like the razor company or what have you or not, but um, on a quality basis, the soap is certainly worthy of being stocked, I think. Um, all right, first pass. Um, Really nice. Nice and smooth would be how I would characterize the uh, first pass with this razor. Very, very nice indeed. And again, don't forget tomorrow, use your blue gear. Get out your blue gear, use your blue gear. Think of our good friend, Kim. And again, we're uh, trying to bring awareness, excuse me. Um, you know what it is? I was anticipating trying to say the name of the disease, mesothelioma, and I was already tongue twisted. That's not easy to say. Say it quickly three times. Try it. <laughs> that is not easy to say, but um, 
that disease affects, you know, it, it's rare. It doesn't affect a lot of people and Kim has it and it's, it is really a bad disease as all cancers are. And you know, you know, cancer awareness in every form and fashion is very near and dear to my heart as you know, over the last couple of years right now, my mom is suffering from uh, leukemia. My mother-in-law has latter stage cancer. I just lost my aunt last year to cancer. I lost my uncle who was only in his uh, mid fifties a few years ago to cancer. Um, it's something that affects all of us in some way or other at some point in time. And so it's very important for us to, to push for, you know, finding cures for this, these terrible diseases. I'll tell you right now, watching my mom go through it is just, um, it's really, really difficult, but I take solace in just trying to do what I can to help her be comfortable and to do things for her. And I'll be going back down, uh, probably the, not next week, but towards the end of maybe next weekend or so to, uh, to help. Cause my dad is also disabled. He's in a wheelchair, so it's really hard for them. Anyway, um, make sure you use your blue gear tomorrow and post that shave of the day. I don't want to get too, too far down that path because it's a bummer. All right, let's get back into the shave and enjoying it. And like I said, this is a nice razor for the money. Very nice. I think it compares uh, most closely to the Razor Rock Hawk. Um, it feels to me, this one's heavier, I believe, than the Hawk. It feels like to me this might be a smidgen smoother, although I love the Hawk. I think the Hawk is a terrific value. The Hawk is about half the price of this, and it, it feels a little bit more nimble, I think, because it's, um, because it's, it's not quite as hefty. Um, but this one is a good shaver, and so far, I'm happy with it. Like I said, I would call it probably close to medium in efficiency, well built. And again, if you're in the UK, Executive Shaving has a razor just like it. It's made by Alpha. And the only difference is the branding on the razor. It says Executive Shaving and not Alpha. So you can check out Executive Shaving over there if you want to you want to get one. Now I used to have, I don't know if this discount code is still active, but I'll put it on the screen in case it is. Um, you can use discount code IMCDB5 for 5% off at Executive Shaving if it's still working. I don't know if anybody's ever used that link, but you can try it and let me know if you use it. I don't know if anybody ever used it. So they might have killed the link. So if it doesn't work, then uh, I apologize. All right, that was an excellent um, second pass there. Soap doing its work, razor, really, really nice. So. Really nothing to complain about today. I'm having a good shave and a good time and I'm, joy I'm joined by you beautiful people. And I wanna thank you so much. And by the way, we are, when we uh, hit 8,000 in subscribers, which is where my first channel ended up landing before I made the new one stupidly, honestly. Um, never rebrand folks, just stick with your original. Anyway. When we hit 8,000, we're gonna do an 8,000 for the second time series of giveaways, and it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. There's gonna be lots of giveaways there. Last time when I, when I did the 5,000 for a second time, I did like 12 weeks of giveaways. Uh, this, will be, this will be big. And so please, if you have not subscribed, now is the time to do so. Let's uh, reach that 8,000 mark once again, and we will kick off another series of giveaway weeks. Although we're always giving away things on the channel here. I got four that I'm gonna be announcing pretty soon, the, the winners, so stay tuned for that. Oh man, look at that. I have a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> That's fun, but anyway, we are, I don't know what we're at. I don't look every day, but it's 6,000 something. So if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy the content and you find value in it, please subscribe. And also if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Now, my philosophy on YouTube's videos. I don't thumbs down videos um, unless someone is operating in bad faith. You know, you can tell they're just, they're attacking someone personally or something like that. I always appreciate the effort that someone makes. And so pretty much any video that I watch, 
I give it a thumbs up because I appreciate their effort. But, you know, a lot of people don't feel that way because there's people that can't wait to thumbs down my, <laughs> my videos. And that is okay. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But I would love it if you're going to uh, give me a thumbs down. Make a comment below. Let me know what you didn't like. And I am always interested in trying to improve things. Now, if you don't agree, agree with my opinion, you know, that's just, we can have a different opinion. That shouldn't really be a reason to, to dislike the video. Or maybe you just don't like me. That's okay. I'm not for everybody. I know this. Uh, one of the things that, you know, people haven't liked over the years is I'm not afraid to say things that some people won't say, like the, like calling the carbon packaging rubbish. It is. It's, it's trash. The razor is fantastic. I love it. And I like Sean at Carbon. But that packaging is awful. And so when I say things like that, some people don't like it because, because they become very attached to brands, you know. And I'm attached to some brands too. But if I get something I don't like, I say it anyway. Just like the other day when I used the A&E stuff, I didn't like it. I said I didn't like it. I said at the end it was terrible for me. <laughs> you know, that's our obligation, you know. So we should, we should not be just zealots. For brands, we should always uh, endeavor to speak with candor, you know, and be honest. And I don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings or rub anybody the wrong way, but some things just need to be said. And I know some people don't like that, you know. They would prefer to watch a channel where everybody likes everything about everything all the time. And that, to me, is just, I can't do that. I'm definitely going to find, um, you know, the pros a product, but I'm also going to tell you what the cons are. So if you appreciate that, then, you know, thank you. That's the way I'm going to do it. And I'm never going to be one of those channels just like everything all the time. Although, to be honest, most things are great. Today's kind of hard to find something you don't like. So stick around, subscribe. If you're getting value, give it a thumbs up. And I appreciate you. All right. That was a really nice first run. Let me rinse, we'll come back and into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back. And off came, we did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we used our PAA alum, no stinging. So that was a super smooth shave and you know how we did it. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. And that's how we try to do it every day here on the channel. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by, made by witches. There's Witch Hazel. I had an excellent shave today with Viking. This is Old Norse. If you like barbershop, modern barbershop type scents, you might like it. I enjoyed it very much. And I also enjoyed my first run with the Alpha Claymore Evolution Razor. It was nice. I would call it right around medium, maybe a, a notch below medium, but it was very smooth. It provided for a great experience. And so I enjoyed my first run with that razor. Very, very nice and not terribly expensive, although the Hawk is about half the price and I think it, those two compare. Um, and so we'll, maybe we'll do a head to head with those two razors down the road. We used our AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series brush and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug and of course our Captain's Choice bowl. And we're gonna finish it off today with Shannon's Barbershop Splash, which smells a, light, a lot like the Old Norse um, soap. And we're gonna be off to the race. Oh man, that smells great. I love modern barbershop scents. It's just fantastic. Oh man. Woo. That's good stuff. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you being here. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.